Prophet Kafui Into is the president of Giftings and Callings Camp, a revival and evangelistic ministry birthed in 2015. Giftings and Callings is a group of young, like-minded men and women who love God and wish to do His will for their lives by using the gifts He has bestowed upon them to impact the lives of others and shape their destinies in love and in the power of God for the work of ministry. Prophet Kafui Into is a minister of the gospel with apostolic and prophetic grace, known for his deep love for people and the body of Christ, Prophet Kafi is committed to seeing a generation of young adults living to fulfill their calling. Under the auspices of the Holy Spirit, there is a reawakening of the gifts of the Spirit through giftings and callings camp conferences outreaches among other programs. He's a mechanical engineer and a human resource practitioner. He's married to Dr. Julia and they are blessed with two beautiful children. Giftings and callings come 2023. Let us make welcome Prophet Kafwe Into. And this is a prophecy for everyone, it's for the nation. The Lord said, please play the keyboard, right? So I'll close at six. He said, anytime a dispensation is about to be ushered, if you look at the Bible, he brings a minister or ministries that introduce the dispensation. You understand? So God, when Jesus came, <laughs> Bridges receive that ministry because God wants to use you for that one as well. You are going to usher in ministry. Okay. So he said that when Jesus was coming, he released the spirit of Elijah that came upon John the Baptist to prepare the way. So all the time, God prepares the way. All right. And John is a type, or Elijah was a type of John the Baptist, and God brought Elijah to introduce Elisha. The name of Elisha is God is my salvation. So Elisha is a type of Christ. You understand? And the Lord told me that when he was lifting up Ghana, he introduced a certain man. And most of the time, the spirit of Elijah is always under attack from the government. Do you understand? From the establishment of the time. So he said that when Elijah came, the Ahab and Jezebel were chasing him, the establishment. And when John the Baptist came, you know, Herod was chasing him and eventually killed him. You know, had it not been for the mercy of God, Elijah would have been killed. So all the time, the people who introduce ministries are always under attack, especially under, uh, uh, from the government. You understand? And he said when he was raising things, people in Ghana, he introduced a man called Evangelist Amwapo. <laughs> Alaba. And he was an evangelist and he was preaching against sin and rebuking everybody including the government and it got talking about corruption and he said it is alleged that he was killed by some machinations that's why i asked you to go off because it is alleged that he was being chased by the government of the time and he was involved in an accident it's like he was killed by some machinations from the government and the lord told me that as we speak he has introduced some ministries that are going to usher in some people that God is going to change the God of fathers that is in the nation. And he's releasing some Elijah ministries and some Elijahs and John the Baptists who are going to be talking and preaching against sin and going to be praying to release ministries. And one of them is the prayer ministry that we have around. Because before the way has to be prepared, prayer has to go on. That is why Elijah was a man of prayer because he has to make the way for people to come. And Elijah, like... John the Baptist has to always be praying so that the thing can come. And he said, a God is about to be changed in Ghana. So some fathers are going to be gone. And then a new wave of ministry is coming. So because of that, he's releasing Elijah type and John the Baptist type ministers and ministries. And those people are always going to be under attack from leadership from their denomination, leadership of the nation, leadership of their church, leadership from their home. So because of that, they need to be very strong. 
You understand? So God is going to release ministries. God is going to release some ministers. And if you find yourself as one of those and God begins to use you, don't give up. Just press forward. Just press forward. Like he said, just be behind the cross and press forward because your, your belly is carrying, your womb is carrying babies, ministers like Archbishop Duncan Williams and all the Bishop Ducks and things like that. The Lord said there's going to be a change of God and so they are going to go away and he's going to raise ministers. So some ministries are coming and they are preparing the way. That is why he has lifted prayer in the country. <laughs> so you see, your ministry is, uh, we'll talk in secret. We'll talk in secret. So that is why intercessors are going to be raised. Prophetic intercessors. Because they are going to pray into being. People like Anna and Simeon who carried an anointing. They will pray into being the Christ. And you see, they need to pray because Herod wants to kill the baby. Oh, Jesus. Lako shabana bakasa. So you see, this kingdom alignment is not for, for Job. There's a national dimension. Because people have to align. Because God has a plan. God has a plan. A certain plan is about to be released. A certain thing is about to be released. And intercessors are going. So you see, you know why I allow you to minister? Because all the things that I wrote, you will be there. So I said, just go ahead and minister. Because God has already done it. Intercessors. So everywhere in the north, everywhere from Kumasi, those who have come from everywhere in Somania, you see God is bringing people and sending them back. I see intercessors everywhere. People who are going to be praying. You see, that way when you said that they are going to come, they, will be, they are more. The woman said, let them pray. It, it, that is it. So I was like, oh, just go ahead and minister because God has just done what he said he was going to do. So they are going to be prayer ministries. Prophetic intercessors. Hey. Prophetic intercessors. People who will be like Abraham. Who will talk to God. I see an angel enter the people. I see an angel has entered the people. An angel has entered the people. An angel has entered the people. Bring him to me. An angel has entered the people. You see, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. I saw Abraham. Abraham came. Abraham came and said, these are the intercessors. You said they are friends of God, isn't it? They will be intimate with God, isn't it? They will be intimate with God, isn't it? Look at them. Look at them. Oh, you see, that ministry ushers his ministries. It's a grandfather ministry. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them. I see an angel like a light. An angel like a light. That is jumping in the people. Jumping in the people. Look at them, look at them. He's jumping, please hold them. He's jumping in the people. It's a ministry that ushers in ministries. Makusira Numa, Amini no no Sutum Tinka, Reku Prasune, no Matiliata, Alenku Sermuste Pratulia, Reku Shebrekosa, Amikusa Dula Basutela, Reposo Tabrakosa, Raposo de Libraco Sabaya, Raposa Brande Libracosa. Listen, I see the dead bones of Elijah. Elisha, thrown into the thing, he said, somebody's gift is dead and it's coming alive. Look at it. He said it's coming alive again. It's coming alive. Look at them. Hold them. You will never ever change. You are the Lord. You remain the same. You will never
the guy I said, ah, this guy, he's preaching my name. So it's time to work. So you see, that thing is going to be. So I had a vision. And then I was sleeping. And then I saw the map of Africa. And each country was a door. And I saw Nigerian ministers. They opened the Ghana door and entered. I saw this Uyika. He opened the Ghana door and entered. And the Lord said, this country has a way of building ministers. So you see, if we have lost this, he's restoring it. So that minister that you saw yesterday, he has come to restore something. So you see, I see ministers everywhere having the spirit of chanting. The spirit of chanting. The spirit of chanting. Receive that grace. For you are going to chant. You are going to chant. You are going to write chanting songs in the name of Jesus. So where are the chanters? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, 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 oh. They are going to write the song. Please hold them. It's an angel. He has a harp. You go into their ears and play one string. Bing! You see, they begin to hold their ears. Some of them. Look at them. Don't hold it. Look at, look at him. He's holding his ears. Because it's a high frequency sound. And he has to change your being so you can catch the anointing. You see? Bring them. Look at them. They are holding their ears. He, 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 it's just one string. Bing! Like a one. One. Listen, I saw a string that was torn. He said that he handed over to some people over here and the string got torn. I'm here to repent. Lord, if it's true, let me know. Give me a sign. It's true. Give me a sign. The Lord, give me a sign. Look. Yes. Please. This is the sign. This is the sign. The Lord said they tore the string, so he's restoring and repairing it. Yes. This is the sign. You see, like she's trying to do some work. You see. This is a sign God gave me that it is true what I am saying. Oh, please work with me. Oh. 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 I sing ninjas. <laughs> mighty, mighty God. I worship you today.
Pentecost, you would have had a brain tumor. You see, show your head. This is straight healing. Give me the oil. The Lord. You know, I assume you back about Say, Yehovah, what's your sick? I'm going to ask you to my I'm going to ask Give me the oil. Say, Yehovah, what's your sick? But you know I forced myself to minister. Because when I go home, I can't sleep. My body will be very hot the whole night. Uh, yeah, yeah. I want to hear somebody speaking Arabic. Pure Arabic. By the spirit. If you hear, let me know. I want somebody. Pure Arabic. Other tongues. Not tongues like language. I want to hear.
old wells again. I'm digging the old wells. You see somebody like he's digging. You see somebody like he's digging. You see the person manifesting like he's digging. The old wells. The old wells. Some oil will begin to flow. The person will be like he's digging. The person will be like digging. Like digging, 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 digging. Old wells. Old wells. Old wells. Charlie. The Lord is sending ministries global. The Lord will open doors for you to go and minister outside. Not only minister. The Lord will help you to form and have disciples globally. Global disciples. You know, we believe God. God is doing it. Charlie, give me some flags. Tie them. Tie them to each other. Tie them to each other. The Lord is going to make people global apostles. Global ministers. Global apostles. Lord, I want to hear Arabic in my ears. Somebody. Other tongues. Global apostles. Global apostles.
all of this place. Yes. Do you know the day you were going to go to Congo, the Lord spoke to me. So when I spoke to you, I told you that I saw you. Were, I thought you were being relocated. I didn't think. I didn't know that it was Metro uh, and Kamba. But God is going to relocate, and not even you are going to be jumping. Say the Lord. If you are another one designed this anointing, please receive it. Receive it also. You will make global impact and global. Dis- you have global sense. Look. You start having sense global. It will be more global than Ghana. And they are not in your denomination. Trust me. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! There's a way I sing that I know some angel has come. But we have to prove. Listen, last year. Last year. He was here and we were ministering. And a word came that there was a Hebrew something. Please play the song. He said, he caught it. And their, their ministry has started releasing chants. You know chants? Not chants people have. The chants that they have released by prophecy, by writing. Please, I want you to play. Can you play? You know? No. You see, this apostle is very serious. And I want you to use him to encourage him. Three years ago, Bishop John was preaching. And he said he gave an assignment. People to go and write. And he wrote that assignment. This one of them. Listen. Keeping the fire of ministry alive. And you know what? He's giving it to us for free. And you know how you get it? You just can't let you upload and you have the book. He said that is, he wants to give it for free. You won't believe the people you'll be sitting with. People are going to receive that. It's like an impartation. You see what will happen now. See what will happen. See what will happen. See what will happen. happen. Come straight from heaven. Please hold them. Most of them are music ministers. Hold them. Hold them. He said, I can feel the anointing. I can feel the anointing. It's an impartation. I tell you. By the time we come this year, I must find out. People have written chants. You know, it's a national thing. God is opening the channel. Listen. Look at them. To repair something, I enter to the da, 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 da. just play. I enter to worship you only. I enter da, 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 da. I worship you. <laughs> I worship you. Oh, I worship you. 
Before your name is holy. It is a warfare dimension of worship. The Lord says she has that anointing. And it's coming on some people now. Oh, hey, for your name is holy. Look at it everywhere. Holy. Bring her to me. Bring, look, at, look at her. Please look really well. I worship you. For your name is holy. The Lord says it's like a satellite. Holy. You are, you are going to usher her and you got the anointing. Lord. For your name is holy. Tell it, your mother is a, because of that anointing, she has suffered a lot of battle. Lord. For your name, where do you guys come from? Like a, you are in the ministry, too, or you, you work with your what? Wow! You don't know what anointing. Hey, hey Daniel, we beg. Daniel, we beg. Time is up. Okay. I want to encourage you. You see the extra, the extra. You know this year. The Lord spoke to me that start fasting. And I started fasting. And I fasted. And I fasted. And I fasted. When I was counting, it was 60 days. Before I realized, I said, I'll go to 100. Today is 103. I observe a fast every day. Whether it's half day or up to two or up to six. Or sometimes when we went, when we traveled, this guy he didn't want us to eat. So we he can also fast till the next day. Yes. So this day 103. Yes. Day 103. And you know what I realized? By the time day 60, it's like somebody has cut away my stomach. So there was no hunger. And there was no craving. But sometimes the cravings come, but there's no hunger. But sometimes there's hunger, but there's no craving. But you see, the Lord said, because of this, because of disobedience, I'm releasing the grace upon people. People begin to hold their belly as if somebody has cut off their belly or cut off their entrails. And they'll begin to fast. When you feel the edge, don't stop. 100 days will be easy. This guy is my fasting partner. You see them, they'll be holding their bellies. This man is my fasting partner. 100 days. Charlie, whether I have your 100 days fasting, we are going the extra. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Look, Apostle. So, this will be going around. And the leaders of, the leaders of various we want you to come, have this, scan it, and then get a book and share it on your platforms. We are going to share this on our social media handles as well. And that was the chance. You see, it. He said he sent it to Theophilus. You see, Theophilus, Sunday sound engineer. What did he say? The song is powerful and it will be all over the place. We are praying. We are praying. We are praying. You know what? We want to close. We want to take an offering if you have an offering. We, I nearly forgot to take an offering. Is it? So, so we want to take an offering quickly. Please come, come and give your offering if you have one. Um, please quickly, cause we are closing. Uh, and there's mobile money there too. Jesus, something special, supernatural about your name. Jesus, something. When I mention your name, Jesus, Jesus. something special, hey, supernatural about your name, about your name. Jesus. Jesus, something. Jesus. That's Apostle Oscar. Wow. Something special. Deadly guys in the Baptist. Supernatural. About your name. About your name.
Hello. The pulpit. Hello. So hurry up and take your seat. We are closing the next five minutes. Um, Apostle Tio, divine, please. You have the video. Or you have the... Hello, before we start the video, uh, can I have Auntie Anita here? Where is she? Mrs. An Mrs. Anita Boachi. Where is she here? Where is Mrs. Boachi? Please, somebody should bring her here. Hallelujah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. We are closing. Auntie Anita. Where is she? Hallelujah. Please. Uh, please put her down. Hallelujah. Auntie Anita. This is a surprise. Please hold her before she runs away. You know, please, we are closing. Bishop, you have it. You know, I want to specially honor Mrs. Boachi today. And I want all the bishops and their wives to join me. Eh? Very important. Bishop, you get, you get out. You know, if you, if you want somebody who does not want any mention, yeah. who does not want any recognition, yeah. who doesn't want any attention for the work that she has done or she's supposed to do, that's Auntie Anita. Yes. If you want the definition of selfless devotion, and one thing I get surprised, when you message her at 1 a.m., she'll respond. 2 a.m., she'll respond. It's true. 3 a.m. she respond. And tirelessly. And she has been like my alarm clock because sometimes my jigru jigra things. He said, Bishop, do you know that you're supposed to be sending a message today? I said, I forget. She has always been like my alarm clock. And she has held us together. Do you understand? Huh? She has held us together. And she has been like a mother to so many people. And she'll speak her mind. She will rebuke you and then still smile. You understand? And so I want us, with a standing elevation and a clap offering, I want us to honor. Hello, my name is Naki, and I am very grateful for this opportunity to honor a very special lady in the person of Mrs. Anita Boache. I've worked very closely with Auntie Anita and the communications team of the ministry since I joined in 2017. And one of the things that I admire the most about Auntie Anita is her commitment and dedication to the Lord. No matter what possible she is facing, if there's something that needs to be done in the ministry to progress the kingdom of God, to progress our agenda in God's kingdom, she is more than ready to do it. She is a living testimony of seeking first God's kingdom. And it really inspires me. Another thing that I really admire about Auntie Anita is how she's able to balance her career, her family, and ministerial duties so effortlessly. Like I know there are so many demands placed on her at any given time, but by the grace of God, she's able to do everything so effortlessly. And it's something that I really look up to her for. On a more personal level, Auntie Anita has been such a great pillar of support for me through different different stages of my life she's always been there for me praying for me encouraging me and counseling me and it's something that i do not take for granted at all so today i just want to say a very big thank you to you auntie anita god bless you for all that you've done the seeds that you've sown in each of our lives that are surely bearing fruits God bless you, Auntie Anita. We love you. Hello, everybody. Today, I want to introduce to you one beautiful and amazing lady called Mrs. Mwache. Um, I'm sure she's standing somewhere left on the right side. You should see her. She's one amazing woman. You will never miss her when it comes to programs like this. Whether the church service or the main events, even on the page, this woman is so amazing. She's always putting in efforts to get things done. Um, 
um, this past few years I've been with GC Camp. Man, I've been working with this lady and the energy to get things done is so amazing. You, you'll be forced to win, Charlie. If, if you are done, you can win with her. And Janita, I want to say God bless you. I want to say congratulations for achieving this milestone with GC Camp. You know we can do it. Thank you. And honesty, your love for God and mankind is evident in your passionate service to him and compassionate care for others. Your infectious laughter dispels worry and your heartfelt tears lighten burdens. In the midst of your own battles, you encourage and intercede for others. Your dependence on God echoes in frequently heard mantra. So with God is in, God is king. The giftings and callings come ministry hereby acknowledges your unwavering commitment and invaluable contribution to its growth, reach, and impact. Jehovah is no man's debtor, and we know that only he can fully reward your efforts. But until then, accept these words from our hearts to, to yours. God bless you, Auntie Anita. Auntie Anita, this is from the entire family of giftings and calling. Look, we cannot pay you for the things you do. Yeah. And I know you didn't ask us to do it, but yeah. we have done it, whether you like it or not. <laughs> so, so God bless you. you. <laughs> so we also have a, a little token um, is some TV. So, some 50 inch or some inches of TV. So when you look at it, just know that we appreciate you. So change the one in your room and put it there. So that you know that. So God bless. I want us to pray for her. Please stretch out your hands and ask God to preserve her soul and God to give her strength and life and in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Lord, have mercy upon her and give her peace in her body in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your servant. Thank you for the heart you have given her and thank you for the mission you have given her for this GC family. We pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, remember her always. As we celebrate her today, may heaven celebrate her more in the name of Jesus. Anoint her, Lord, even for the much task ahead of her. We thank you. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed with thanksgiving. And everyone say amen.